right, in this video we're going to look at how to properly put the dates beneath the days of the week and, and have those dates stay the same over the course of the whole week. And then when we have a new week, assuming we're starting our week on a Sunday, you will have to change this if you want your first day of the week to be a Monday. But uh, nonetheless, when our week resets to a Sunday, we will get a new list of dates that will stay the same over the course of that whole week. Then when it goes to the next Sunday, they'll reset again. But over the course of that whole week, we want these dates down here to stay the same. Um, I've done a tutorial video on how to get the days of the week. Have a look back at some of my previous videos where um, you can show the day of the week and you can have like the date change its size or a circle pop up around it or something like that. But um, with that said, let me try to explain it to you before we go straight into this code right here. This is the code that we're going to have to apply in something very similar to each group. Now, the codes are laid out in here too, but uh, today, for example, today is Friday, July the 8th. So I'm going to put an 8 right here beneath the Friday. And think of these as groups, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are our groups, okay? So Saturday group, Friday group, Thursday group, Wednesday, etc. And this is going to be our if condition. Now, in our Friday group, if today is Friday, then I want to show DD, which is just the current date of the month, which is what it's going to do right here in a moment. So we're going to do uh, the 8th. Now, what should we do for the Saturday group? Well, tomorrow is going to be the 9th. So what do I want to do? In the Saturday group, these are the codes that we're going to use in our Saturday group. In our Saturday group, if today is Friday, which it is, then I want to do advance one day on today's date. That's why it's going to advance one day from today's date. Today's date is the 8th. It's going to advance one day to show the 9th. And this thing will show the 9th. All these codes will make it show the 9th regardless of whatever day of the week it is. Um, the only time this thing is going to change is when we go around to a new Sunday. Let me explain this to you a little bit more. Let's go to the Monday group. Well, today's Friday, the 8th, so what was Monday? 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, right? So how many days ago was that? 1, 2, 3, 4 days ago? Well, let's go to our Monday group. This is our code for our Monday group. If today is Friday, which it is, then we want to rewind 4 days from today's date. And if we rewind 4 days from today's date, which is the 8th, we will go back to the 4th. And that's the basic idea of how these things work. So this will be the 7th, the 6th the fifth, and this one right here will be the third. And, um, you know, so if we look one more time at the Thursday group, if today is Friday the 8th, we want to rewind one day to show what yesterday, yesterday's date was. Well, look at our Thursday group. If today is Friday and we go to our Thursday group, we do want to rewind one day from today's date. So that will show a seven. And again, all these codes will make that number stay the same. And these numbers will only change when I get back around to this coming up Sunday. This coming up Sunday will be the 10th, then uh, the following week, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if you code this properly, um, when it resets back around to this Sunday, uh, it's going to show 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 for the whole course of that week. And the only time it's going to reset again is going to be on the 17th, then the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd. All right, so let me show you one more thing before we dive into the coding. Suppose we did roll around all the way to, suppose today is Sunday, July 17th. Let me highlight this. I know it's not, but suppose today is Sunday, July 17th. Well, this is in our Sunday group. So Sunday group, if today is Sunday, we want to show the D, uh, current day. And I said suppose it's the 17th. Well, what do we want the Monday to show? Since our week has reset, I want these to go up days throughout the whole course of the week. So in our Monday group, in our Monday group, if today is Sunday the 17th, we want to advance one day from that 17. That's what's going to make it show a 18 right here. So I hope that makes sense. Now, this code right here is actually what goes into the Sunday group. And all we have to do is kind of come back here and look at this little cheat sheet that I've made for you. And you can replace a few things to get every other group. And this should work properly. I haven't even tested it yet, but uh, I did test it on uh, this one right here. You know, I'm showing the third when it's actually, you know, Friday, July the 8th. So this should work. And um, I'm going to use the text edit to help speed this process up. 
So this is our Sunday group. All right, so now let's go into KOWP. And now all I did was take that code that I already have in the Sunday group. So notice we have a Sunday group right there. So I'm inside of here, and then I have that little text item that's showing a three. That code that you see right there is the same code that we see right here. So I'm going to copy, and I'm going to uh, paste this. And now we're going to go to our Monday group, and we're going to go to this cheat sheet, and we're going to figure out how to... Uh, how to code this correctly. All right, so to spare you those uh, long details of doing all this, I went ahead and just uh, moved on ahead and I'm gonna show you how you code it uh, based on the cheat sheet that we have back here. So if I go look at the Monday group and I come to the code, so here's our Monday group and we look at this code, the same code is what we have, it's what we have up here. Um, notice I still got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all that stays the same. The only thing we're changing in the code is this part. And where am I getting this information from? I'm getting it from the cheat sheet and I'm putting it in the, that order because we're in our Monday group and just to look here, if it's Sunday, that's going to correspond to this. If it's Sunday, then we want to advance one day on the current day. And as you can see, that's exactly what we have going on right there. Well, in our Monday group, what if it is Monday? Well, we want to show the current day. That's exactly what we have there. If it's Tuesday, we want to rewind one day as we have it right there. Rewind two days, rewind three days, four days, five days. As you can see, those pieces are getting used in the code. So um, pause the video right now if you want to, and here's a look at all of those codes. Um, that fits rather nice, I guess. Um, so therefore, you can see all of them, and you're, you're seeing a pattern just like you saw a pattern right back here in... Uh, this, you know, four, three, two, one, one, two, and we're advancing and rewinding um, in a certain order. But by doing this, what's going to happen in KLWP? I went ahead and applied all the codes here for you as well. Uh, now I also went in and applied some stack groups to this stuff. That way, the dates won't interfere with whatever current day it is. Because when I was applying it, the eight was squished all up in here with the circle, and it was kind of hidden. So I applied some stack groups there. But nonetheless, as you can see now. Um, what, what should happen, what's going to happen is when Sunday comes around, what's going to happen is this is going to change to a 10, then oh, this will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and those will remain the same throughout the whole course of next week, and they'll only change again when the next Sunday rolls around. I find this useful, or you may find it useful because, you know, somebody says, you know, what was uh, the date two days ago? Well, you can look right here and say, hey, it was Wednesday the 6th. And essentially what we've created here is one row in a calendar. And there you have it. That's how you can uh, apply correct dates over the course of a week to uh, some component in KLWP. And this will be added to KLWP Toots on the Play Store rather soon. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.